I now have a three-week-old, but I also have a 16-year-old. You have two teenage daughters. You have one teenage daughter, one teenage son. Mm -hmm. And kids who are teenagers, not having sex is a good thing. And there is a trend, story coming out of New York, where kids are now so into playing video games mm -hmm. that don't have time to have sex, which I guess is a good thing. Now, my kids don't play video games to this extent. I think, I think the study thing. said that the average amount of time for like teenagers in New York City playing games is right around three or four hours per day. 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 Gamers. Well, let me say this. Mostly during and the that includes computer, so computer slash video games. So during the week when my kid has school and practice, et cetera, he can't do that. Okay. Too busy. But on the weekend, he, he makes up, up for it. it. Yeah. Oh, my God. It probably averages three hours a day because he's playing 20, 20 hours, in... hours on a weekend. <laughs> right. I right. Mean, so, and weekend would be a time where typically teenagers would be out having try, sex. They're trying try, to get it in. Right, trying to get it in. So they're so busy. Uh, and apparently, like, alcohol use is actually way down. So there are actually some good things coming out of the obsession of gaming. Now, I was telling Drab during the break, my kid likes gaming to an extent. But he really doesn't like it that much because he doesn't even have the latest technology. And I've asked him, I was like, do you want an Xbox One? He has an Xbox 360, which we've had oh, for. Oh, yeah, you, what are you? You're nubbing it over there. We've had that for <laughs> That probably, Xbox One is like three years old. Right. We have had the Xbox 360 probably for six years. And I've been mean, there since like HFS. Right. <laughs> he did, it's updated. And then on Friday, for whatever reason, um, <laughs> he's starting to kind of get into baseball. It's weird because he played T-ball as a kid and he did that for a couple seasons and he didn't. Didn't want anything to do with it. And then he said he didn't like baseball. He'd always lumped golf and baseball in together. Too boring, right? Mm -hmm. But um, he's kind of liking it. Like He'll we come went around. Out, He'll we come out, around. We went out and, uh, you know, kind of hit home runs over the weekend. I mean, we just went to a tennis court and, right. you know, threw him some, so, you know, took the bat and got a bunch of balls. But, you know, batting practice, he was kind of getting into it. And so on Friday night, we went to GameStop. He wanted to get a game. And I told him, I was like, they don't even make these for the 360. And I keep telling him, I was like, do you want the Xbox One? And he, he's stubborn. He's like, no, 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 I don't want it. Don't waste your money. Like, my son will actually say something like that. Don't waste your money on that. What kind, what, wow. And, <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's unbelievable. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Man, what, and so, whoa. so what that's a, bomb, that's a me, bombshell, right? No, but Dylan said to me, he's like, you wanted, <laughs> a, give that you wanted kid a, a game. Bucks. So he's <laughs> looking at the games, and he was looking at Call of Duty, which I, I, I probably would get it to I him. It's a war the game. white flag and right, all that. Right. He's looking at Call of Duty, but eventually he settled on MLB. Listen to this, because it's 360. Yeah. 13. <laughs> 2013. No. So we got I MLB 13. Changed, I bet you hadn't changed that much. The game was fine. And the truth is for him. Man, just because uh, Ken Griffey's still playing. Is, is LeVon Hernandez right, still pitching right. for the Nets. The truth is for him, we'll play it like we played it on Friday mm -hmm. night. And then he didn't play it on Saturday. He didn't play it on Sunday. So he's not a gamer to this extent. But that is a positive if they're playing so well, much that they can't have true. sex. So my, you know, I don't give too many personal things about you know your own kid, but I know there have been times where they're, they're my my but my kid will go out to parties and stuff with his buddies. Sure, but like I'll ask him. Now he's he, a sophomore. He's a sophomore, and it, and I'm fine. I actually prefer him to. One time I actually brought because I don't like not knowing where they are. Right, and it was like I actually said. I'll give you ten bucks if you just stay home and play video games. That way, I don't have to pick you up at eleven, right? And I don't have to worry about what's going on. And he took me up on the offer. Well, that's good. Well, I actually bribed him to stay home. I said, "I'll give you ten bucks." Man, he can make thirty, forty, yeah. fifty bucks a week. Yeah. I, I wish my dad was that easy. God, if I was a kid and my dad just offered me ten, well, he bucks wanted to do to stay home. I know that's gonna. I'm going to all the way up to Potomac. Cash. I'm going to drive out to Potomac now. I can't. You can't sleep over because we have something in the morning. So that means I'm going to have to get over there at midnight. Plus, I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's there. a nightmare. Yeah. So I said, I'll give you ten bucks. Why don't you just stay? Or you could just say no. I do. It's just not a good night. I know, but you don't want to be too. You know, you're right. I do say no, but you try to find, you try to do it in a way that appeases everyone. And for me, ten bucks. Made everything work. <laughs> right. It just made all the sense in the world. So to you me. got to watch the caps on Saturday. Well, didn't have to leave the this house. This was something that's happened a, a while okay. back. Um, but I know a lot of times he'll just say, honestly, I'd rather just play video games and go running around. And the truth is, they play video games with friends now. Oh, a yeah. Lot of times. A, he, will, he will play by himself. Not at I all. I still have the Wii. It is 100% a social activity sure. because it's with Xbox Live. That's good. Right. Yeah. So it's not. 
And well, thank God my, my kids never really got into that. Now, teenage girls don't get into it. No, girls are a little games. different. Although my girls play weed together. I think that weed is a chick the weed. thing. Weed is a chick thing, isn't it? It's got to be a chick thing. Yeah, but mm. they, my girls don't play it anymore. Yeah. Yeah, they, Kelsey I mean, played, three years ago, yeah, but not anymore. They're Kelsey done. played for a couple weeks, like that Dance Central, you know, like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. But, I got that. But that net. was, but that was, uh, it comes phase. and goes. Yeah, it comes and goes. Every once in a while, though, a friend will be over my and kids you're dancing. Are, my kids are into Netflix and Amazon Prime and watching. Are they into sh- Netflix and chill? <laughs> no, no chill. Not yet. Uh, <laughs> separate the chill. <laughs> uh, they watch all these shows on Netflix. Well, my kids' show, I told you, is What's it's always sunny in now? Philadelphia. That he is now like the office. I think he's seen all the episodes five times. Right. They're like, watching the show Under the Dome. Yeah. Are your kids watching Under the Dome? I'll have to ask. No. Because I, the monitoring I do is very limited. <laughs> I mean, I just yeah. can't keep track of everything. Well, in, in fact, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Could have the worst scenes ever in it, and I just don't know. It's pretty crude. 